also in the description box. So, hi, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I post videos once a week, mainly about makeup and sometimes about hair, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, all that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. I've got links for all my social medias in the description box below. I would really, really appreciate it if you could check those out and follow me there. I've also got my affiliate links and discount codes also in the description box, so definitely check those out as well. Today, I'm so freaking excited about this video. <sighs> I'm doing a massive Beautylish Jeffree Star haul video, first impressions, try-ons, tutorials, all that amazing stuff. So if you wanna see everything that I bought from Beautylish, then please keep on watching. All right, so let's open her up. All right, so because this package consisted of mostly Jeffree Star products, um, we've got the Jeffree Star wrapping paper on top. It says Beautylish presents Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, and like just the, the detail on here is incredible. This wrapping paper, I believe it's all of Jeffree's tattoos on here. So it's like a lot of portraits. You've got like Elvis, you have Catwoman, Mona Lisa, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all his tattoos. Um, Louis Vuitton logo, of course. So we got all that, and then we just have like standard wrapping paper. What I loved was the, well, first of all, what was really cute is on the top of the box, it says um, package with love in San Francisco. I guess that's where Beautylish is based off of. And then it says like packed by Becca J. So I guess that's one of their employees. So I think that's really cute. It's very personalized. I have actually ordered once from Beautylish before, but I only ordered, I think like, what was it? One Jeffree Star lipstick and one Skin Frost. So I've I've tried a couple of his products before, but I've never tried, well, the stuff that I'm about to show you. Um, oh, right, another thing is the way that these products were wrapped was really great. Um, so it came like, you know, wrapped in whatever this, paper is called um, with like twine or string around it and then the palette was wrapped in that and then in bubble wrap so it was very very secure so I was really worried because I heard there were some issues with Beautylish where eyeshadow shades would just pop out because of like the um, rough handling as they were being delivered but this that wasn't the case with this so I was very happy. Um, another thing I guess this is what Beautylish does for orders above a certain price point. They give me a sample, like a pretty decent sized sample actually, of, um, what is this, Bioderma uh, purifying, purifying Cleansing Micelle Solution, so I guess it's like micellar water. It's like a decent amount of product in here. Do we actually have 3.33 fluid ounces? So that's pretty good. Also came in like this bubble wrapped envelope. So that's really cool. I don't really use micellar water, but I'll give it to my mom. I think she'll love it. She's really into micellar water. All right, next. We have a the RCMA Makeup No Color Powder. This is like setting powder and there's no flashback on this, which I'm really excited about. I've heard people rave about this product. So I've been waiting to do a big order from Beautylish so that I could actually order it because otherwise like I think it's free shipping above $75 for Canadian customers so I was just kind of waiting to place a big order for me to actually order this because I haven't been able to find this in Canada so yeah I'm really excited to try this out next we've got lipsticks okay, so we have breakfast at Tiffany's which is like this teal we have Drug Lord, which is white. We have Blow Pony, which is a light, like a lavender purple. Diamond, which actually isn't this silver color. It's like a periwinkle blue. Um, Rose Matter, there we go, which is like a really nice nude pinky red. And last but not least, Calabasas, which is also a similar color to Rose Matter, but a little bit more red, I think. And then, 
the highlight of this video. Let's just open her up. So again, it came nicely wrapped in bubble wrap and you can see it's upside down. You can see what we're gonna be talking about today, the blood sugar palette. I've wanted this palette since it launched and it was kind of pricey for me at the time. I wasn't working, I was in school still. So I, I think I was still in school when it launched. I can't fully remember. Maybe I was already out of school, I can't remember. Point is I was trying to save my money, but I knew that once I started working and earning a little bit of extra cash, I would definitely pick this up. Problem is this palette has been out of stock like every single time I'm ready to buy it. So finally, um, Jeffree Star had a restock the other day, I believe it was on Friday maybe, on his website. So I was waiting for that and then I saw Beautylish actually had it back in stock a couple days earlier. So I jumped on it because I had a feeling that it would be sold out again and picked it up and here we are. And oh yeah, also another thing. So because of the amount of money that I spent on all these products, I qualified for free expedited shipping. So my products actually came in like two days, which is ridiculous. So all the way from San Francisco to Toronto, Canada, it took two days, which is awesome. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen all the information that there is out there about this palette, but I'm gonna repeat it anyways. Um, it's, the packaging is just ridiculous. Like, look at this, it's like a VHS tape, uh, which some of you might be too young to actually remember these, but anyways, this is what we used to watch movies on. Not this, obviously, but you know. Anyways, so we have, all of the ingredients on the back here um, and then you know Jeffrey's contact information and his social media accounts and all of that and it kind of goes shade by shade all the ingredients that are on there which I really appreciate this is what the palette looks like it's vegan leather it has these clasps on the side which I'll just open up and then oh, here we are so um, we've got all the shades here. I'm not gonna like read them out. What kind of look should I create today? I'm kind of thinking I want to focus along the bottom row, but then there's this pink that's calling to me and I want to try out that gold and then these two shades. So I'm thinking I might use this one over here, which is called Candy Floss. I might try that as a highlighter because I haven't used highlighter today purposely so that I could use some of these. Now I know that these shades sometimes show up a little bit differently than they look in the pan. So I'm gonna be cognizant of that. I wanna try and use as many shades of this as I can. Um, okay, let's just hop in. So I'm gonna start off, I think with sugar cane and just put that in the crease and I'll start building up some texture, I guess. Oh, and what I like also is this giant mirror on the top. One thing is I wish that there was like some sort of plastic uh, like coating or something on the eyeshadow shades just so to protect them from the mirror, but I guess the mirror is set pretty far in that I don't think it's too much of a concern that the powder will sort of reflect or like fall out onto the mirror. Does that make sense? You know what, I'm gonna take some tongue pop, add a little bit more dimension. That's like a really nice pinky nude color. That'll actually be a really nice shade for like more neutral looks, I feel like. I'm gonna add actually a little bit of cherry soda and just focus that on the, the outer half of my crease. so far so good i'm really impressed with the way that these colors are blending out i um sort of accidentally got a little bit of eyeshadow further than i wanted over here and i was able to blend it all together really really nicely and also these colors build very nicely too it's not like a shock of color like there's obviously definitely pigmentation 
but it's not like boom color right when you put it down. I'm like slowly building up color and I'm very impressed. I've never actually used Jeffree's eyeshadows before, so I'm very, very pleased. I mean, I, I was expecting amazing things. So I knew going in that I would like this, but I'm very impressed. These blend out so nicely. So I'm gonna go in with Fresh Meat. These eyeshadows almost smell scented. Like there's almost, it's like a vanilla-y scent, but also a little chemically. Okay, I think I'm gonna take some of Coma. Now I'm going to take some of Root Canal, that purple shade, and focus that kind of on the, like, middle portion of my lid, leaving the inner portion blank. Okay, this shade isn't the most pigmented, but I think you could build it up really, really nicely. It's a really pretty shade too. I think if this was over a white base or something, I think it could really, really pop. Okay, I think I'm going to go into cavity next and put that on the remaining portion of my eye, like the inner part. I just wish that it was a little bit more pigmented, so I'm just going to try and build it up a bit more. So I'm going to put sweetener on just the center portion of my lids, I think. Just kind of do like a sort of halo eye situation. I'm struggling a little bit with this shade just to build it up to the opacity that I want. I could use Fix Plus, but I just kind of want to see how these perform on their own. I mean, on camera, this is looking really, really nice. I just kind of wanted it a little bit more like punchier, but I'm definitely like, I'm really happy with this. I'm pretty much going to repeat the purple and pink shade, so root canal and cavity along my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take candy floss. I'm going to just use that on my fingers to highlight my cheekbones and I guess my brow bone too. Ooh, it's a really cool highlight shade actually. Well, the shade itself is really buttery. I can tell I'm really gonna like that one. Right, so I'm gonna go into that gold shade donor. Ooh, that is a really cool shade. And you definitely don't need to wet your brush for that one. Oh, that is really cool. I think I overdid it on the side, I always do. So I'm going to put on lashes and liner and some lipstick and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. This is what the final look looks like. <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed. Um, I realized that I created a an eye look that's actually very similar to looks that I've done with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. So oops on my part. This is just a first impressions, honestly. I'm sure I'll be creating other looks with this palette because I'm so impressed. It performs so well. I'm, by the way, I'm wearing Rose Matter Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick on my lips. I've got a separate video where I swatch all the lipsticks that I bought, so check that out as well. I use nine or 10 shades. So about half of the shades used to create this look. I, I really love this palette. I knew I would. I'm not like, whoa, you know, like blown out of the park because I was already expecting it to be amazing. This is just like a fantastic palette. Like overall, I have nothing bad to say about it. A couple of the shades do look a little bit different on the eyes compared to how they look in the pan. I think the ones that people were complaining that, you know, they look radically different. I don't think I use those. Like I think Prick looks very different. Um, Blood Sugar, I think looked a bit different can't fully remember. I've watched like a lot of videos about this palette, but that was like a while ago. Um, yeah, I just love this palette. I'm so excited to use this. I could definitely see myself reaching for this every day because I have been looking for a palette that I can create these types of warm pinky red shade looks. <laughs> uh, like I've been looking for a palette 
uh, like an everyday palette that I can just reach for and create some very gorgeous warm pink and red and purple toned looks that I can wear to work that I'm not allergic to because I feel like I mentioned this in every video, but if you guys are new, if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm allergic to a pigment called Carmine. It's used in a lot of red and purple and pink eyeshadows. It's a very cheap pigment, so a lot of makeup brands use it. It's made from crushed up beetles, so any makeup that's not vegan will often use that pigment in vegan brands or vegan shades won't use that pigment. So Jeffree's brand is completely vegan, so I don't have to worry about any allergic reactions using these, which I'm super excited about because, for example, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette does use Carmine in a lot of the shades, which is very upsetting because I would wear that palette every single day because it's so gorgeous, but unfortunately I have to save it for like special occasions where I'm not wearing it for too many hours because anywhere beyond like five, six hours, I start to get itchy. Um, but I'm going off topic. I really, really love these. I'm going to swatch these all on my arm now, I think, and then finish up with final thoughts. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So I've got a more in-depth video where I go into all of the lipsticks and swatching them and all that. I'm so, so happy with my purchases. The only thing is I haven't tried out the RCMA powder or the Missler water because I'm gonna give that to my mom, but I'm super, super happy with my purchases. I love the blood sugar palette. I knew I would, but I love the way it looks. I love the way it blends out. It blends out so easily. This is definitely a beginner friendly palette, even if you're not very into bold, bright eyeshadows. I definitely think this could be wearable for every day. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can build up the colors so they're not super like boom pigmented right when you put them on. So I think that's a really good thing, especially for someone who's a little intimidated by such bold colors. You can just do so much with this palette. It's so freaking good. And I really encourage you guys to buy this palette. I know it's really pricey. It's like $52 US, which is like about $70 Canadian. So it is a very pricey palette. Do I think it's worth it? Definitely. You can obviously find similar palettes for cheaper, but okay, I'm a little biased. I do love Jeffrey and I love his brand. I love his channel and I really love how he's making an effort to, he doesn't hide his past, but he's really trying to become a better person and uh, become more inclusive of people and stuff like that. Final thoughts about blood sugar. I absolutely love this palette. It blends so easily and it's funny because I have a growing decent sized makeup collection and it's funny how some of my older cheaper palettes I thought were pretty good until I used I guess more expensive or better quality palettes. Not like I think you have to spend tons of money to get a good quality palette. I'm just saying I have some sort of cheaper discount kind of palettes. I don't really want to name names, which are good. There's nothing wrong with them. But when I use um, a slightly better um, amazing palette, like the blood sugar palette, it really makes me appreciate higher quality makeup. So I'm willing to spend a little bit extra on a palette like this if I can get exactly what I'm looking for in an eyeshadow palette, which is pigmentation and easy blendability and yeah that's pretty much it yeah so i'm super super happy with this i think this palette is super wearable so you can definitely do a lot with it it's pretty versatile even though it looks a little intimidating it's all 
bright reds and pinks. When you first look at it, I think it's actually quite wearable. You definitely can wear this as an everyday palette. You can wear it as a, you know, going out kind of palette. You can really do a lot with it. So I'm really, really excited to play with this a lot more. I'm definitely, this is definitely gonna become part of my everyday makeup. The shades all swatched really beautifully. There were a couple shades that needed two or three times of me just going in and building up the color, but I think he formulated this palette specifically so that, you know, you wouldn't get a shock of color right away. You kind of have to build it up, which I'm fine with. I mean, the shades blend out really nicely. They build up really nicely. The only one that I had some issues with was the purple shade. I forget what that one's called. Um, Root Canal, the this pinky purpley shade. I had some issues just building up the color on my eyelid. I ended up covering it with a shimmery color or like a foiled metallic kind of color. So that's the only one that I had slight issues with. Not like it didn't show up at all. I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented, especially in comparison to the bright pink shade, which was, was that one? Cavity? Yes, that's right. Which that one is just like a shock of color right away. So there are some, I guess like, inconsistencies in the sense that like some shades show up brighter and more pigmented right away than others. That being said, I'm sure it's just a matter of how those pigments are formulated and I know certain shades are harder to make really good than others. Um, not like I'm saying any of these are bad, these are all really, really great. Just kind of something I noticed that some show up brighter and more pigmented than others, but all of them seem to build up really, really nicely. So overall, super, super happy. Definitely would recommend this palette. I give it a 10, 11 out of five. Like it's so good. I'm really, really happy with it and I can't wait to play with it some more. I'm definitely planning on posting some more looks using this palette if I have a chance. So stay tuned for those and I'll see you in my next video.